Here we have the Eden M3A Vital Signs Monitor. Uh, this particular configuration that we're looking at right now is an SPO2 and NIBP only configuration. It is available with temperature and you can see that um, it's got your numeric displays up top. It tells your patient if it's an adult, pediatric or neonatal application. Systolic, diastolic, pulse rate, SPO2, main arterial pressure, and it has a three and a half inch uh, LCD display here at the bottom of the screen. Uh, alarm key, you can switch your patient uh, type here with this button. There's a shortcut button. This button here is for your main menu and your up and down arrows and your check button in the middle to select the appropriate option on the menu screen. Uh, your power button, this is for your uh, manual NIBP reading and this button here will switch to uh, your trend data in the form of a table or in uh, graphical format. Here's your SPO2 connector and your NIBP cuff connector. Uh, this particular unit doesn't have the optional printer on it which would go here. The back of the unit, you can see you've got your grounding port here if applicable, uh, your power supply, and there is an Ethernet port uh, for networking this uh, with the optional software, the low cost software option to transfer data very easily to a PC. As far as uh, accessories go, the unit comes with an adult size SPO2 sensor with a round Lemo style connector. We do have an extension cable that will convert your Lemo connector on the port here of the machine and terminate into a square DB9 connector if you want to use a Nelcore compatible SBO2 sensor that's not a problem at all. Also comes with a standard adult large NIBP cuff again with the bayonet style connections and your NIBP tubing with the same bayonet style connectors on them. As far as interface goes, uh, the unit is fairly easy to use. I'll zoom in here on the display screen take you through a couple different options again here's your main uh, menu button you can go ahead and put this into demo mode the demo password is 3045 if you want to do this you hit OK you see that we're in demo mode it clearly says it on the screen it gives us some readings here to again confirm that we're in the demo mode. Now the system could be set up, the, the unit can be set up to user's preference. You want to go to system setup, go through the options here as far as general setup goes. Uh, key volume, obviously I have that turned down right now. Uh, but if you want, you can select it so that it makes a noise every time you press the keys. LCD brightness, you can change it there. Standby mode uh, is on, meaning that if I hit the power switch, it'll ask me if it wants me to keep the monitor in standby mode so that it'll very quickly boot up upon my next patient. Work mode is very important. Right now it's set to monitor. You can see that you can also select it as a spot vital signs monitor. If you're going to be using this device simply for checking in patients, you would want it on spot. And if you want it on uh, for continuous monitoring, you would put it on monitor. General alarm setup is where you would change your volume for your alarm. Date and time, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this unit obviously has been configured for the proper date and time. Uh, default configuration, you can restore factory default settings here if you so choose. Or user default configuration would save any of the previous screens that we just went through. So we'll leave that into uh, user configuration. For administering a new patient, you want to go to Patient Setup. You can associate a patient ID number here anywhere from 1 to 200. And again, you can also from this section um, select if it's an adult, uh, pediatric, or a neonatal application. Um, or like I mentioned, you can use the shortcut key as well on the previous screen. Or excuse me, on the front of the monitor. And a BP Setup is where you want to change your setups here. SPO2 setup. Um, pulse volume I have turned down to zero. If we turn that up, obviously you can hear it. 
I'll turn that back down so that it doesn't interfere with the video. Pitch tone, on or off, um, most people like to have that on so that if pulse rate and SPO2 levels are, are going up, the pitch tone will actually increase the tone, and if they drop, the tone will get longer, uh, it'll go to a lower tone. Alarm setup, this is where you want to set all your high and low alarms. You can see you can set up your systolic high-low, your diastolic high-low, main arterial pressure, etc. Uh, configure that however you want, and if your patient's vitals change above and below those parameters that you dictate, it will sound the alarm. Data management is an option. If you do have this unit configured, you can easily transmit the data uh, to a personal computer uh, where the, the, the vital signs uh, uh, history and trend data can be captured and stored, uh, created into, a, into various types of format, including a PDF, and, it, and uploaded to the patient's electronic medical records if need be. Um, these devices are HL7 based, which is uh, nice, and we do have a central monitoring station that's currently pending FDA approval. Uh, recorder, as I mentioned, this, this particular unit does not have an onboard thermal recorder, but if it did, this is where you want to set your recording options, where you're capturing real-time data, or recording trend graph data, or trend table data at increments that you so dictate. Uh, system setup, we actually went through that. Uh, maintenance, there is a, uh, again, the user maintain, if you want to go in here uh, to this user maintain, the password to do so is located in your manual. I believe that it's 9981. In here you can select uh, your language, it's defaulted by factory default as English, but several languages to choose from here in this screen. Nurse call, you can turn on and off. NIBP setup to capture data or not. SPO2 setup, you can change the sensitivity of the sensor from low to high. Also in that screen, uh, yeah, sensitivity. Alarm setup, you can uh, do your alarm mute every three minutes, one, two, or three minutes, whatever you so choose. And right now we have the alarm silence on just for demo purposes. And here's where you would go to net, actually network this unit if you were going to hardwire it to a computer to transfer data. Pretty easy uh, user interface, uh, pretty self-explanatory. If you do have any other questions about this unit, uh, feel free to call the uh, main office at 888-850-4597. All of our, all of our pro products do come with a three-year manufacturer's warranty uh, with sales, service, and support right here out of San Diego, California.